Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Can you hear the rain in the background? Oh yes, it's raining the glorious pours of rain, winter rains here in Cape Town. And our sea levels, uh, well rather our water levels, they're rising and we're so blessed to have that. But today, we're all about giving back and we have been asking you to do a good thing and help someone in need. Woolies, along with the Gift of the Givers, they've teamed up to distribute food care packs to families in need, which is fantastic. Each bag that they're giving out is filled with a balance of protein, fresh fruit, vegetables and other staples as well as hygiene products to help curb the spread of COVID-19. Perfect timing. Uh, for as little as 10 rand, you can provide one person with three meals for a day. Think about that. Just scan the QR code on the screen right now using the SnapScan app as you've seen earlier. We've demonstrated that or your banking app on your phone and donate today. It is really up to you to decide how much you'd like to contribute towards filling a bag. Uh, and remember to encourage your friends, your family, Family, your neighbors, your colleagues, and everyone. Chat about it on your chat groups to do the same thing. Every little bit will help in making a huge difference. And I know that we can do it, South Africa. Now, Father's Day is upon us. This is the month for all of our fathers, our dads are out there, dads and dad figures. You know, we know that they play such a big role in our lives. You know, for all those uh, bad jokes, big hugs, times he's made you smile, uh, you know, get him something to say thank you. Like one of these Woolies luxury nuts, cherry liquor, uh, liqueur rather, uh, uh, chockies or uh, chocolate truffles. We know that he'll love them. And of course, say how much you appreciate him. This is very important. If you want to bake him a Father's Day treat, for example, then Chef Clem's melt in the mouth, buttery and nutty shortbread will do just the trick. Chef Clem, mm. Mm. Yeah? Lick who? Huh? Liqueur. Liqueur. Oh. Liqueur. Okay. You thought liqueur? Liqueur. <laughs> liqueur. It's the liqueur. No, it's not Just about liqueur. that one. Just joking. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. <laughs> so, Tabito, short biscuits are called short because of this. Can I just show you why it's called why short? Why are they called short? Cause I because I thought maybe because they're short. Because But the, they're not short. It's, yeah. It's the snap. The, the bite is short. Okay. So it's got to have a snap. Ah. Okay. That means short. So a lot of time when you people say, what's a short Yo, crust biscuit? You now know it's so about nice. that snap. I want so, them to snap in my mouth right now. Okay, you can have that one. Okay, you can have it. But it's, it's about the cookie. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what's a, what's a biscuit without a nice warm drink to dunk or to get into it? Ooh. I found this in, in Woolies. I didn't even know it was out there. Instant red velvet latte. What? Real main drink pink drinks. My friend, try that. Please try that. I'm gonna try it now while it's hot. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, it looks so good. It's a red velvet latte, people. And it people. smells delicious. Eh? It's a red velvet latte. It's amazing. Ah! Oh, ah! wow. This is the perfect companion for any, any biscuit. This is really it's, good. I'm actually gonna keep it here. No, Thank it's you. It's yours. So much it's for yours. That. And then yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get one too. Where's, where's Kukle? Kukle? Kukle, catch. I got one for you. I got one for you. Catch! Got hers. Ah. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Friends, okay, everybody uh, out there. Mm. But now we gotta cook. Now we gotta cook. Okay. So in here I've got some butter. Just add hot water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the chaos in the background <laughs> for the red velvet lattes? My South Africa, it's happening. Okay. I shouldn't do this. I cause chaos. Yeah, you do. I've got some butter and I've creamed it. Uh -huh. I've just aerated it and it's mm -hmm. nice and pale, light and fluffy. Yes. To that, I'm gonna add my sugar and I'm gonna continue creaming it. Mm -hmm. This is called the normal creaming method. Okay. Okay. So a lot of times when I write a recipe and you say cream your butter and your sugar, yeah. people say, but you didn't ask for cream in the recipe. It's not an ingredient, it's a method. It's a method. It's what you're doing to the butter to get it to the texture that you desire. Right. Uh, I'm just wondering if you're able to cream the butter in any other way without using this device here. The original Could I use way, a whisker? The original way to cream butter and sugar is a wooden spoon. Oh. Have you always noticed our grannies have had like biceps? Oh yeah. Triceps. Bigger than Raoul de Raoul's Moniz. got nothing on the gogos out there. <laughs> My grandmother's biceps and biceps are all the bigger than... All the time in the kitchen, yeah. creaming with a wooden spoon. Yeah. That, that's how it's originally done. Oh, so okay. if you donate one of these, you sort it. Nice. So now, I've added a bit of vanilla to it, and you're gonna mix that through again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna add is my dry ingredients. Okay, cool. I've got normal cake flour, okay. and I've got corn flour, and that corn flour helps you with that snap. All right. So Did you mix in. them already in there? Yeah, together. Two together. So corn flour and normal baking yeah. fl flour. Okay, great. So now, before I add that, I'm going to toast the nuts. So part of the Father's Day gifting, we had the bowl time we spoke yeah. about earlier, we yeah. had the marinade, mm. nuts, and it's a selection of nuts. My dad I mean, loves nuts. We were talking about these earlier, mm -hmm. like the barbecue mix, they're addictive. It's crazy. My dad gets through that thing so quickly. Like every time I buy like a pack of nuts, it doesn't last long. Uh -huh. You hand it to him, you turn your back. Gone. By the time you look to say, huh? Papa? Done. 
it's gone. Dads, dads are smart like that. They're so, they're so clever. Okay, cool. Mm. I'm gonna toast the nuts, because nuts have a lot of oil in them. That's mm. why you actually do, you could actually buy like macadamia nut yeah. oil, almond oil. Yes. There's oil naturally in the nuts. That's okay. the one who in those oils and bring it back to life. All right. Into so you're not pan. gonna add any oil to your pan because they no, already no, no. have their own. We're just gonna dry toast it. And as soon as I add it, you can see, it start, I can smell them already. It's that instantaneous. Mm. Mm. Cool, so what you can do is once it's, once it's toasted, you can chop it up or you can keep it whole. It's up to you. Just for right now, I'm not gonna chop it up. I'm just gonna add it straight into our, our mix. And I'm going to mix it through. Okay. All right. Like, it gets messy, mm -hmm. but it's fine. The trick with it when you're making shortcrust pastry is not to overwork it. If you okay. overwork it, you okay. lose the texture. Uh, so mix, 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 and shape it into a dough. Yeah. And it will look like this. That's, that looks really good. This is amazing, this mm -hmm. is it. So, we're gonna start rolling it out. And while I'm doing this, will you just give a little shout out to Gift to the Givers? Tell the people what it's all about. Well, you know what? It's such an incredible, fantastic, fantastic campaign and initiative that they're running. And I am just so connected to it in the most beautiful way. It's all about helping those in need during this time uh, by helping donate from as little as 10 rand. Gift of the Givers have been doing such amazing work throughout COVID-19, but also before COVID-19, they go into communities and areas that are often overlooked. Yes, certainly some of them definitely in need most of the time. Um, and they really, uh, you know, they hand out these food parcels. And Woolies has collaborated with them to ensure that they're able to feed all of those communities during this time. So from as little as 10 rand, uh, you can make a huge difference. You can scan the QR code, which we've often uh, placed on our TV screen here, uh, on your, your TV screen, or you can go on woolworths.co.za forward slash together we will. Uh, from as little as 10 rand, there is no m real minimum really. But if you think about it, if a million of us South Africans donated 10 rand, that's 10 million rand that will go towards feeding all of these people because no person should go hungry. We should spare thought for all of those who go hungry during this time. Please, South Africa, I know we can do it. I'm going to be donating again, actually, today yeah. after this. All right, so what yeah. I've done is rolled out my dough, mm -hmm. cut them into little squares. Oh, they're going to go into the oven. Okay. And they're going to, the trick with these, or also put it out the way. Yeah. The trick with it when you're baking these is to make sure you don't over bake them. Why are you whispering? Is it a secret? Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> Am I whispering? Am I whispering? <laughs> okay, so the trick is that you don't want to over bake them because no. then you're losing the delicious flavors, the textures, and it's going to become the wrong type of hard, okay? Oh, okay. So what you do then is you take them and you get your chocolate, but now we have a new rule. Anytime we drizzle chocolate, mm. we need some sweet seductive music. Okay. So Mr. DJ up in the sound booth, can I get some sweet seductive music? You gotta do the pout, you gotta pout. Get that eyes. chocolate on Smoky top eyes. of the smoke ting. Smoke ting, smoke. Show me your pout, where's your pout? Your pout. <laughs> Oh, we have too much fun in the kitchen, Give me South those Africa. Biscuits. What do you I think? Eat them right now. Oh, oh, a little bit can of berry white. Can I taste one of them? You can. You Let's can. Let's see how right. it comes out. So, in the end. once the chocolate sets, you're good to go. I've got these caramel-flavored ripple chocolate bars, and it's how I'm going to finish them off. Just crumble over. Thank you, by the way, Mr. DJ, for our amazing music. This is how you celebrate your dad. This is so delicious. It's so decadent. Get your dad to do that. Play your dad some nice music like that when you give him uh, your uh, instant red velvet latte and the shortbread, and then get him to... That's what you do, South Africa! If you want the recipe, go on our website, www.expressoshow.com. Clem! Ah, you're the man. Put it here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah! Thank you, Clem.